Donald Trump's 2024 presidential victory was shaped by two pivotal issues, inflation and illegal immigration. These concerns resonated deeply with voters, influencing their priorities and ultimately driving his success. The rising cost of living was a significant issue for Americans, as many struggled with higher prices for goods and services despite broader economic growth and low unemployment rates. This economic dissatisfaction made Trump's promises to combat inflation and reduce costs resonated deeply with voters, particularly those who felt left behind by the existing economic policies. Trump's hardline stance on illegal immigration also played a crucial role in his appeal. His promises to strengthen border security and curb illegal immigration struck a chord with voters who believed these measures would improve job opportunities for American workers and enhance public safety. By emphasizing these issues, Trump tapped into widespread concerns about the economic and social impacts of immigration, further solidifying his support among key segments of the electorate. Inflation. During the Biden presidency, many middle- and lower-class Americans felt increasingly marginalized by economic disparities, fueling a perception that the wealthy were thriving while the working class struggled. Rising inflation, skyrocketing prices for essentials, and stagnant wages exacerbated these concerns, creating widespread financial anxiety. Inflation hit hard, driving up the costs of everyday goods such as groceries, gas, and utilities. For many families, these increases strained already tight budgets, forcing them to make difficult choices about how to allocate limited income. Despite economic recovery efforts, the benefits of growth appeared unevenly distributed, with the wealthiest individuals and corporations reaping the greatest gains while lower-income households faced mounting financial pressures. The rising cost of housing and rent was particularly devastating. Home prices soared, putting home ownership out of reach for many. Meanwhile, rents spiked to record highs in urban and suburban areas, leaving renters with few affordable options. For some, these financial burdens led to evictions or homelessness, as they could no longer keep up with monthly payments. Entire communities felt the ripple effects, with overcrowded shelters and encampments becoming more visible across cities. This economic squeeze left many Americans living paycheck to paycheck, unable to build savings or invest in their futures. The combination of inflation, housing unaffordability, and stagnant wages created a sense of hopelessness and frustration among middle- and lower-class individuals. This perception of being left behind by a system that seemed to prioritize the interests of the wealthy over the needs of ordinary citizens contributed to a broader dissatisfaction with the state of the economy and governance. Between 2019 and 2023, inflation significantly impacted Americans' real earnings and wealth, despite gains in the stock market, while financial indices like the Dow Jones Industrial Average showed robust growth, the broader economic picture for middle- and lower-class households told a different story. On December 31, 2019, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at 28,538.44, and by December 31, 2023, it had risen to 37,689.54, representing a 32% increase over four years. During the same period, cumulative inflation in the United States reached approximately 23.33%. Adjusting for inflation, the real growth of the Dow was 8.67% over four years, or an average annualized gain of 2.17%. The average annual wage growth between 2019 and 2023 was approximately 4.6%, totaling 18.4% over four years. With cumulative inflation at 23.33% during this period, real wages effectively declined by 4.93% meaning workers lost purchasing power despite nominal pay increases. Many middle-class families as a result experienced a net decline in financial security despite economic indicators showing growth. Middle-class participation in the stock market is significant, with around 56% of these households investing through avenues like 401ks or individual accounts. However, the median investment value is about $15,000 far less than the holdings of wealthier households. As a result, the middle class benefited less from stock market gains compared to wealthier investors 
who hold the majority of financial assets. While stock market gains helped some increase their retirement savings, modest investment amounts limited the overall impact on their wealth. Meanwhile, real wages fell behind inflation, making it harder for households to keep up with rising costs for essentials such as housing, groceries, and healthcare. Housing costs soared during this time, with median home prices and rents increasing significantly, putting additional strain on middle and lower class budgets. Wealthier households, benefiting from significant stock market gains and real estate investments, saw their wealth grow disproportionately, widening the gap between them and middle-income families. While the economy experienced headline growth in financial markets and wages, inflation eroded much of these gains for average Americans. The result was a growing perception of economic inequality, with wealthier individuals reaping the majority of the benefits, while middle- and lower-class families faced declining real earnings and rising costs. This financial reality fueled dissatisfaction and contributed to the belief that many Americans were being left behind. Illegal Immigration Illegal immigration was a significant factor in Donald Trump's electoral success, as it resonated with voters concerned about its impacts on housing, the economy, and social policy. Among these issues, housing affordability stood out as a major point of contention. Illegal immigration affected the availability of low-cost housing, contributing to rising homelessness and straining urban planning efforts. Many illegal immigrants settled in urban and suburban areas where affordable housing is already in short supply. This influx increased demand for low-cost rental units, driving up rents and intensifying competition in areas with limited new housing development or restrictive zoning laws. In California, this housing pressure has led the state to override local zoning control, creating challenges for communities forced to adapt to state-mandated zoning regulations. Financial constraints and the lack of legal status often compelled illegal immigrants to share living spaces, resulting in overcrowding. This not only strains housing infrastructure but also creates unsafe living conditions. Furthermore, overcrowding reduces the availability of units for other low-income families, exacerbating the housing shortage. The use of public housing resources by illegal immigrants also fuels controversy. Critics argue that this diverts assistance away from U.S. citizens in need. Additionally, some landlords exploit the precarious legal status of illegal tenants, offering substandard housing at inflated prices. Such practices contribute to neighborhood blight and deterioration, affecting the overall housing market. Recent crimes committed by illegal immigrants were a central narrative in Donald Trump's speeches and campaign materials, as he aimed to draw attention to his immigration and border security policies. Trump frequently referenced high-profile cases involving violent crimes committed by illegal individuals as the consequences of lax immigration enforcement. This focus on crimes committed by illegal immigrants was part of a broader strategy to appeal to voters who were concerned about law and order, particularly in communities where demographic changes or economic struggles heightened anxieties. Conclusion Trump's campaign effectively tapped into widespread concerns about inflation and illegal immigration, presenting solutions that aligned with the frustrations of many Americans. His election can be seen as a populist movement that resonated across various classes and income levels. His campaign tapped into widespread discontent with the political establishment, promising to address issues like economic inequality, job loss, and immigration. Finally, Donald Trump's broad appeal helped him secure a victory by galvanizing support from both working class and affluent voters who were eager for change.